Hello everyone, in Victor's launch week today is Trick. I will again walk around and tell you what I think about the ships. We have the Vulture, your new salvaging ship that will be in the game soon. I take a bit more time with this ship. Yeah, I can't tell you anything about this ship yet, how useful and how fine salvaging will be. I don't like that CHG is using just another beam to salvage, to strip hull, but we have to wait and see how this is in the game. Welcome to okay, you have a big ramp at the rear. Start, stop, eject, danger, impact, hazard. Okay. Well, I will take a very close look when we get the Vulture in the game. Then you have a ladder. Let's go up the ladder. We have a locker. Maybe for armor. Yeah, and here for weapons. Quantum drive, okay, components. We have sleeping area. This looks actually quite nice. Some kind of kitchen corner. More components and I guess cockpit. Yeah. Let's sit down. Okay. It swirls around. You are sitting down. And you will be turned to the front. Yeah, I cannot turn this ship on. Oh, I can, but no MFDs. This is a quite good view. Okay, we can go here. There's the door to the cockpit. Not sure what you're supposed to do here. Let's go back inside. Open door. So this is a quick access if you don't want to go to the ship and use the ladder. These are dangerous times. That's why Drake Interplanetary builds ships that not only provide function and power at a price that we can all afford, but provide peace of mind for you. For your you can store quite a big vehicle here. Maybe a cyclone. Yeah, she isn't exactly small. We have to wait and see how salvaging is in the game. And we have Cutlass Red. I use Cutlass Red a lot to test armor, small arms and vehicles, but we cannot use her as a spawn point anymore, so I melted my Cutlass Red. I don't see a use for this ship anymore. And we have Cutlass Blue, your bounty hunter ship. Yeah, she was supposed to have two size two shields, but only got one when she was introduced. I don't see any use for this ship right now. Only good thing is you have a nice cockpit view without struts, which leads to the question, why can't we decide if you want to have this canopy or the canopy with struts on our cutlasses? And cutlass steel, a way overpriced dropship, which is a really, really bad design. If this ship would be roughly at the same price of a Cutlass Black, she would be okay, but she is double the price. No idea what CHG was thinking. Yeah, steel is way overpriced. And we have Cutlass Black. Since 3.14 she is on the sluggish side. Still, she has a lot of utility and I think she is a fine ship. She should be a lot more agile and the nerf, two size two shields giving them a front and rear shield face really, really hurt Cutlass Black a lot. And we have Caterpillar. I like the Caterpillar. A fine ship. Very nice if you want to haul cargo. Well, those door elevators still don't work. 
But one fine day we will have door elevators. Yeah, I like the caterpillar. Oh, look where this NPC is standing. And we have Drake Harold, your data running ship. Again, a ship without a rule and pretty much useless in its current state. There might be a use for the ship one day when we get data running. I am not even sure what data running exactly means. I think CHG never said anything about this. Yeah, right now she doesn't have a role. And we have Buccaneer. This ship has a lot of problems. No ejection seat because reasons. There is no reason, Chris. Ejection seats don't need more room. They add a very little bit of mass. Not that CIG cares about mass. Look at their ship designs. And a lot of ships were upgunned while Buccaneer didn't get anything extra. Avengers, Gladius, 325A were upgunned. Yeah, still, she did quite okay before 3.14 and she was quite good in PvP. However, since 3.14 she is way too sluggish. Yeah, it seems like either fly a Cladius, Arrow or Vanguard or don't do PvP. I hope she will get an attraction seat and I hope that one day she will be very agile again. And we have the Dragonfly. Yeah, Kravlev recently got a rework. Kravlev is still not good though. John Bridges 3.1.4 Kravlev was a lot of fun and really, really good and used to look ahead and to make small adjustments on its own. You could still hit big rocks. I don't think we will ever get John Bridges Kravlev back. Yeah, really sad. And we have Drake Corsair. She will be in the game soon. She isn't too expensive and she offers a lot of gameplay opportunities. I am not a fan of this asymmetrical wing design that doesn't offer anything but would lead to a lot of problems. But luckily, CHE doesn't care about physics. And we have the Kraken. Let's see if this model still has the same bug. It has from the start. Yeah, look, bottom left engine gone and appearing, gone and appearing. This bug is in the game since we got this model. I like the Kraken a lot. I think she can be a very, very nice mini carrier and I cannot wait to see my Kraken in game. And we have the new trick, ground vehicle, the mule. Well, this thing has a self-destruct, roughly the damage of a size 9 torpedo. I made a video and I will make more videos. I want to destroy more ships. This thing took an 890 to half its health. Mule has quite a bit of utility, but she is a bit on the pricey side. This was Track Day. I hope you found this interesting and see you next time. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Now we have another mule inside the Starfarer this time. <laughs> Flicker gets away. <laughs> Okay, this time she is destroyed. <laughs> okay, those fuel tanks will vanish too. Yeah, this was total destruction. <laughs> hey, you are still here. You might want to join me on Twitter. My Twitter account is Camoral underscore SC.